this is a topic that we have to talk about. I mean, every single time I go to Walmart or to the mall, I'm always asking myself, why are these girls dressing like this? I mean, shorts too short, dresses too tight, cleavage popping out, pants cutting off your circulation, and these leggings. You are not about to go to the gym. You don't do yoga? I mean, you can see everything. I mean, every dent, dent. every dimple, every ounce of cellulite, every oh. stretch mark, every roll, it's just too tight. Too tight. I mean, I know you can't breathe. Some guys need to be modest too. Just because you bench press 365 mm -hmm. and your muscles are protruding out your shirt, that doesn't mean you need to wear a smedium. Mm -hmm. I've seen pastors and ministers with these tight medium shirts on talking about turn your Bibles mm -hmm. to the book of John. So today we're going to talk about modesty. Yeah. Honestly, nowadays this stuff is just way too tight. Too tight. I mean, if you have to do all of this to put your pants on, <laughs> it's too tight. Too tight. That's not cute. Not cute. Please stop. Give your body some air. Give yourself some air. Because I'm telling you, the way that you dress advertises the way that you view yourself. I don't understand why so many women say things like, he just wants me for sex. You know, he doesn't value me for me. Don't you know that the way you dress will dictate the way that you are addressed? Oh, say that again. One more again. Don't you know mm. that the way you dress will dictate the way that you are addressed? All these dudes out here, all men aren't dogs. But if you're dressing like a piece of meat, the dogs will come running. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> you know your self-worth and your value in Christ, there's just some things you won't wear and some things you just won't do. Value in Christ. Have to. Some trends you just shouldn't adopt. No matter how popular. No matter how popular. You never misrepresent Christ at the expense of trying to be trendy. Tweet that. A daughter of the king should never be confused with the woman of the night. With the way you dress. If I were to put you on the corner right next to a prostitute, I should not scratch my head and be confused about which one is the daughter of the king and which one is the woman of the night. There should be a distinct difference. You represent a kingdom, not just you. Right. It's not about you just trying to be trendy and be popular and girl, I think this is cute. You have to represent a kingdom. I'm not. You're getting dressed. You should ask yourself, is this something that represents Christ well? When people look at you, do they see a woman that has self-worth, self-value, that respects herself, that loves herself, and that wants to dress modestly? Consider your brothers when you're dressing. All these dudes out here, some of us are truly trying to be pure with our eyes. There's some brothers out here that they're not all lustful. They are trying to have pure eyes. Come in the aisle. And it's a reflection of your self-esteem if you love yourself and you respect yourself and know that you're beautiful fearfully and wonderfully made you don't have to dress a certain way to get attention or get a man to notice you because if you want a godly relationship and you want a man of God to come to you and approach you he's not gonna want a woman that's dressed in any old kind of way he's gonna want a woman that respects herself that knows how to dress because you not only represent Christ but you also represent him you can't have a high standard with a low presentation don't use your body as bait Stop using your body as bait to lure men. You should want a man who is attracted to you for your godliness, your class, your purity, not your bodily assets. Once you learn your value, you'll stop giving people discounts. Tweet that. 